exclusive contracted novel by Fei Lu Novel Network. Hong Kong Island Abandoned son of Gambling King, worship suppressing Macau Island upon waking up, Lin Chao Fan was reborn on Hong Kong Island in the 1980s, becoming the abandoned son of Ho Hong Sheng, the gambling king of the island. Lin Chao Fan, relying on his future memories and his foresight, began to build his own business empire. The first step is to establish a mercenary company, buy guns, ships, and tanks in the Northern Alliance, and monopolize the Southeast Asian arms market. Establishing a gambling industry alliance to develop the gambling boat business was met with suppression from the gambling king and the governor of Australia. Lin Chao Fan directly instructed the Glory class cruisers to suppress AO Island. Machine guns and missiles directly bombed Portuguese military camps. Afterwards, the power will radiate to the south, remotely control East Asia, and build the world's strongest family. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 Just Crossing Time and Becoming an Orphan You are listening at NovelFull.audio Dragon Kingdom, Southwest Shenqing In a dilapidated house on the outskirts of the city Lin Chao Fan woke up leaning against the damp wall. He looked at the dilapidated scene in front of him, which could only be barely called a house. Puzzled face, where is this? He is a tactical instructor in the Southwest Special Forces of the Dragon Kingdom. I am taking my troops on a peacekeeping mission on the African battlefield. I didn't want to encounter a large group of mercenaries halfway through. He remembers that he was on the peacekeeping battlefield to save his soldiers. Was hit by a flying rocket. Afterwards, I lost consciousness. Upon waking up again, he appeared in this dilapidated room. We need to figure out what exactly this place is right now. Lin Chao Fan stood up with a slightly weak body. Suddenly, a sharp pain came to my mind. Countless images rushed out like a tide. Damn it. It's troublesome now. The memories in his mind that do not belong to him tell Lin Chao Fan. He traveled through, those kids used to tell me about time travel. I always thought it was nonsense, but I can't believe it's really there. The situation in this world is not much different from my previous world. Just about 40 years earlier. This world is only equivalent to the 1980s of one's original world. Lin Chao Fan traveled to a person with the same name as himself. This person, like him, is also a soldier. Still a reconnaissance company commander who retired from the Vietnam War. Joined the army at the age of 18. Because he was injured internally by a shell explosion on the battlefield. I had no choice but to retire in that year. Also refused national funding. A person relies on odd jobs to support themselves and their mother. Oh my! The sound of air flowing like a thread pulled him back to reality. On the bed in the room, there lay a haggard and very thin woman. But even if it's already like this, you can still tell from between her eyebrows and eyes that she was a beautiful woman when she was young. Women are the mothers of Lin Chao Fan in this world. The mother and son depend on each other for their lives. A few days ago, Lin Chaofan's mother suddenly had something to do and went out for a long time. Also told Li Lin Chaofan not to worry. But when my mother appeared in front of Lin Chaofan once. His body was covered in injuries, even his internal organs were beaten to the point of bleeding. Lin Chaofan asked his mother what exactly happened, but her mother refused to say anything. He doesn't have the money to keep his mother hospitalized. I can only work harder. Come and treat your mother. Mom. Lin Chao Fan came to the bed. Perhaps it is because there is still a physical memory of the owner. Lin Chao Fan was particularly close to the woman in front of him. Looking at Lin Chao Fan's towering figure. Lin's mother was somewhat surprised. Oh my. Hello. The weak Lin mother looked at Lin Chao Fan in surprise. 
Due to being hit by shells on the battlefield, Lin Chaofan often had to hunch his back. Use this posture to minimize the pain caused by internal injuries. It seems that Lin Chaofan's body has been repaired, whether it is due to his travels or not. It seems to have been slightly enhanced. Oh my god, you're fine now, but unfortunately mom doesn't have much time. Remember every word mom says next. Mom hasn't told you about your dad in all these years. Actually, your biological father. His name is He Hongsen. He is Ao Dao. The woman spoke with a hint of anger. Lin Chao Fan was struck by lightning. Ho Hong Sen was born on Hong Kong Island and is known as the Gambling King of Macau. It almost controls the gambling industry in the entire Australian island region, and its industries also involve multiple fields such as real estate, construction, shipping, and investment. That's a real big shot. I didn't expect the owner of this body. Surprisingly, this is the beginning Lin's mother trembled and took out an exquisite box from her body. Lin Chao Fan took the box. Inside is a very exquisite gemstone ring. Mom originally wanted to go to Australia to find your father. I want him to heal your injury. But Mom is useless. I haven't seen your father. Mom, there's nothing I can give you in this life. Mom. I can't take care of you anymore. If you go to Australia with this ring, you must see your father. Give him this ring. He'll recognize you. Mom can't take care of you anymore. Lin's mother reached out and caressed Lin Chaofan's face. Tears welled up in my eyes, filled with reluctance. Remember. Don't think about avenging your mother. You must live to see your father. Accompanied by the last drop of clear tears in Lin's mother's eyes. Lin's mother's hand fell weakly. She ultimately left this world with regret. At this moment. Brother Lin, I'm coming to see you. By the way, I brought something for you and your aunt. How is aunt's health? A burly man with dark skin was carrying two bags. Entered Lin Chaofan's home. This person's name is Kangba and he is a Tibetan. He met Lin Chaofan on the battlefield of the counterattack. He is a soldier under Lin Chaofan's command. After being saved by Lin Chaofan, he and Lin Chaofan came to the deep city after being discharged from the military. As soon as Kangba entered, he saw Lin Chaofan standing in front of the bed and Lin's mother who had already closed her eyes. Everything on my hand fell to the ground. Brother Lin. Auntie, is this? Kangba's voice trembled slightly. My mom left. Lin Chaofan stood in front of the bed calmly speaking. Two lines of tears flowed down his cheeks. This is an emotion from the body owner. Brother Lin, wait for me to go and call the brothers over. Kangba, holding back the tears in his eyes, turned around and ran out. When Lin Chao Fan was discharged from the military, including several people including Kangba, they all chose to retire with him and came to the deep city. Not long. Kangba came with five people. They were all soldiers under Lin Chaofan's command. Some have been playmates with Lin Chaofan from childhood to adulthood, while others, like Kangba, have been saved by Lin Chaofan. With the help of Kangba and others, Lin Chaofan buried Lin's mother. Lin, what do you plan to do next? In front of Lin Mu's tomb. Kangba asked. Next. Lin Chao Fan looked at the ring left by his mother. Go to Australia. In the 1980s, Shenzhen had not yet developed. If you want to accomplish great things, you can only focus on places outside the Dragon Kingdom continent. And the closest place to the deep city. It's none other than the two islands of Macau and Hong Kong. In the current world, as one of the two poles, the Northern Alliance is already at the end of its strength. The world is in the process of globalization. At this time, the island of Australia has not yet returned. It can be said that there are opportunities everywhere. And he has a premonition. 
the reason why the original mother died. It is also closely related to Australia. Since his arrival used his body. Just help him investigate this matter, okay? I'll go with you wherever you go, Brother Lin. Kangba was the first to make a statement. I'll go too. Count me in. Several people followed Kangba in speaking. They have sworn to live and die together. Wherever Lin Chaofan goes, they follow him. Chapter 2 One Million Heads You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ao Island In a magnificent villa A middle-aged woman dressed in very luxurious attire sat on the sofa. She is the lover of gambling king He Hongsen. Liang Anchi. There was still a young man in black sitting beside her. His name is Wang Ziming. He is Liang Anchi's bodyguard and confidant. I didn't expect that woman to be still alive. I thought she died twenty years ago, but I never expected to live to this day. And gave birth to a wicked seed. Liang Anchi spoke with indignation. Madam, are you referring to the woman who came to find the master two days ago and was beaten out by you? What kind of person is she? The man in black next to him asked. Humph, a damn fox spirit. I didn't expect to live to this day. I have already contacted the broken tooth horse to find someone to do her and that bastard. Liang Anchi's eyes were cold and gloomy. A man like Liang Anchi has long been accustomed to his appearance. Gambling King He Hongsen has always been a quite charming person. Almost every place will have a lover. But there are only three aunties on the surface right now. Several aunties also have their own methods. Even Liang Anchi is not on the stage yet. She was originally a working girl from Longguoguang province. Because of a coincidence. I met the gambling king at a private ball. Climbing onto the bed of the gambling king. From then on, fly up to the branch and become a phoenix. And can transform from a factory girl to the favorite aunt of the future gambling king. Liang Anchi is naturally not a fuel-efficient lamp. In recent years, many of the gambling king's promiscuous debts outside will come knocking with their children. Thinking of a mother and a son, one can climb to the sky step by step. But in the end, it was all over. Many of these people were stopped by Liang Anchi. As for their final destination, only Liang Anchi himself knows. Why are you doing this? Didn't they already drive people away? Why bother looking for the broken tooth horse again? Wang Ziming had never seen Miss Liang so angry towards those women before. You don't understand. This woman almost became Hongsen's aunt twenty years ago, so I found out and had someone take care of her. I thought she was already dead, but I didn't expect to come knocking on her door a few days ago. She gave birth to that bastard back then, and now she's in her twenties. Liang Anchi gritted his teeth. She dare not provoke the other aunties. However a woman of similar status to her. Why? At present, the gambling king has not yet shown any intention of bringing her to the stage. After all, I can only exist as a lover. This is not what Liang Anchi wants. Only by receiving the canonization of the gambling king. She can truly change her own destiny. Master, how many years can one still live at this age? If at this moment, a twenty-year-old son suddenly appears. According to the master's personality, he will definitely announce that this woman is his aunt. I worked hard to climb to today, how could they possibly ruin my business? Liang Anchi's expression was very gloomy. She put in a lot of effort and secretly did so many dirty things. How could that orphan and widowed mother have ruined my plan? We must eradicate the root cause. Ding lingling. The phone rings. Wang Ziming stepped forward to answer the phone. Hello. Miss Liang is here. On the other end of the phone. A man's voice came through. A broken tooth full. Wang Ziming frowned. It's me. Benjia Ju is the leader of the AO Island Number Gang. 
his subordinates participate in the underworld, lend at high interest rates, launder money, and even possess heavy weapons. The women who came to the door that Liang Anchi had dealt with before. They were all handed over by Liang Anchi to the broken tooth horse. What are you calling here for? Don't you know how to avoid it? Wang Ziming spoke coldly. He really doesn't want Liang Anchi to be related to a family like Ben Jiaju. Although the wealthy may secretly support the underworld. It's not something new. But ultimately, this kind of thing cannot be brought to light. And if it spreads, it will inevitably affect Liang Anchi's reputation. If it involves the gambling king at that time. Lian Anchi's efforts over the years. It could all turn into a bubble, really. Miss Liang asked me to investigate, so I'll talk about it when I don't have to avoid it. The broken tooth foal smiled and spoke. What did you find? Wang Ziming and Liang Anchi exchanged a glance. Then speak up. What did you find? Wang Ziming didn't talk nonsense and questioned the broken tooth horse. Good news, that woman has already died. The woman in the mouth of the broken tooth horse is naturally Lin Mu. Liang Anchi sneered at the news. There's also bad news, the woman's son is still alive. The broken tooth foal spoke calmly. One million. Let him dispose of the person. Liang Anchi spoke coldly. Here you go. I heard it. My people will depart now and bring them back to you within three days. Get the money ready. Benjia Ju finished speaking and hung up the phone. Damn fox spirit, if you die, you'll cause me trouble. Liang Anchi sat on the sofa cursing. Shen Qing. The sun is setting in the west, setting in the west. Lin Chao Fan has already packed his luggage. His home is very rudimentary, and he can only take a few clothes with him. And a few military medals as rewards. And just some change. Brother Lin, I've packed everything up here. You can set off any time. Kangba is carrying a military green backpack. Arriving at Lin Chaofan's home. Brother Lin, your waist. Kangba looked at Lin Chaofan's straight figure in surprise. All right. Lin Chaofan did not provide any other explanation. Kangba didn't ask at all. Not long after Kangba arrived. Several others also arrived one after another. They are all carrying the same military green backpack. Brother Lin, we've all packed up now. When will we depart? A few people stand in a row. It's like going back to the battlefield a few years ago. They also stood in the trenches, waiting for Lin Chaofan's command. Wait until it gets a little darker, then go up tonight and leave. The reason for choosing to leave at night. Mainly because at this time, whether it is Macau or Hong Kong Island. They have not yet returned to the Dragon Kingdom. People from mainland China want to develop in these two places. It requires very complex procedures. But Lin Chaofan's family is now isolated. Kangba and the others don't have much money in their hands. A few people, apart from practicing murder skills on the battlefield. There are no other skills at all. It is obviously unlikely to enter Australia through the normal route you can only enter by taking a black boat by waterway. Here. Who is Lin Yuyan's son? A person with an inch left and a toothpick in their mouth walked into Lin Chaofan's house. Behind him was a group of people dressed in Cuban shirts, holding steel pipe machetes in their hands. The young man scanned, including Lin Chaofan and others. Lazy mouth. We only need Lin Yuyan's son, and the rest of us can leave. Chapter 3 Flash Sale You are listening at NovelFull.audio Lin Yuyan That is the original name of Lin Mu. Just in Lin Chaofan's memory. It seems that no one has ever known this name. Lin's mother never let Lin Chaofan mention her name. Even Kangba followed Lin Chaofan's brother. I don't even know the real name of Lin Mu. These people actually know and looking at the posture of these people. 
But the visitor is not kind. Who are you? What do you want to do? Kangba frowned and approached. He also saw that this group of people was clearly here to cause trouble. Your mother's name is Lin Yuyen. Baldi spit out the toothpick in his mouth on the ground. Raise your chin and question. No. Kangba is truly a sincere person. I answered the bald question honestly. Aren't you Lin Yuyen's son coming out to do it? Roll to the side and stand there. The bald iron rod with his hand pressed against Kangba's chest. He scolded and spoke. Kangba stared and wanted to step forward. But he was stopped by Lin Chaofan. Lin Yuyen is my mother. May I ask who you are? Lin Chaofan approached the bald man. Oh, oh. You are Lin Yuyen's son. I'm here specifically to find you. Baldly looking at Lin Chaofan. A surprised smile on his face. He politely extended his hand to Lin Chaofan. Do we know each other? Lin Chaofan did not pay attention to the hand that the bald man extended. Just spoke in a low voice to inquire. I forgot to introduce myself, I was helped by the number. Just call me bald brother. I'm here specifically to find you. Someone has spent a lot of money buying your life. I'm here to handle this matter. Do you think? Should you cooperate with me? The bald squinted eyes emitted a murderous aura. It seems like a venomous snake about to depart. Spending a lot of money to buy his life. It seems that those who invited this group of people should be the same group as those who injured Lin Mu. What if I don't cooperate? Lin Chaofan sneered. So. I can only be impolite. Bald waved the iron rod in his hand. A group of people following behind also approached in a fierce manner. These are all my subordinates thugs, they don't matter how heavy they are. If you cooperate and come with me, you should be able to suffer less. Bald and proud, he looked at Lin Chaofan. If you want to harm Brother Lin, you'll have to pass my level. Kangba stood in front of Lin Chaofan directly. Staring blankly at the bald head. Just like the angry King Kong in hiding. That's it. If you want to harm the platoon leader, you have to ask us. Several people behind Lin Chaofan also clenched their fists. Coming behind Lin Chaofan, there was no sign of fear at all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ha ha ha, are you saying you want seven people to treat so many of us? Bald head seems to have heard some big joke. As long as you can handle it. Lin Chaofan smiled and spoke up. These few people who came down from the counterattack battlefield are scouts, not a group of gang fighters that can compare. No wonder everyone is saying that mainland Chinese people are not only unfamiliar with the world, but also very arrogant. Baldi looked at Kangba. His face was full of ridicule. The thugs behind him also looked at Lin Chaofan and others with mockery. The atmosphere between the two sides has reached a freezing point. Lin Chaofan and others were like tigers falling into the siege of a pack of wolves. Since that's the case, then there's no need to talk about it anymore. Bald head leisurely retreats. Hands on. Let out a bald shout. The thugs beside them rushed towards Lin Chaofan and others like a tide. Protect brother Lin. Kangba let out a loud roar. Rushed up towards the boy in front of him. A few people behind Lin Chaofan also rushed towards the thugs. Kangba lifted his foot. Kicked the incoming thug with a knife in his hand and flew out. The knife in his hand also landed on Kangba's hand. Tibetan men take pride in equipping themselves with knives, which are indispensable tools in their daily lives and also a weapon to resist fierce beasts. In addition, Kangba and several others have all retreated from the battlefield of the counterattack. It's a person who was killed in a sea of corpses and blood. They resort to murder techniques. Lin Chaofan also demonstrated astonishing physical fitness. After crossing over. Not only has the originally stubborn internal injury healed. 
even his physical fitness has become quite terrifying. The movements of ordinary people are like slow movements in his eyes. Power is like a humanoid crane. In addition, the killing techniques accumulated by two generations of people. In less than two minutes, he was already lying on the ground. Baldi struggled to support his body. Years of fighting experience have taught him that his internal organs must have been severely injured. The heart-wrenching feeling made him feel unbearable. At this point, all of his henchmen had already been solved by Kangba and others. Almost all the players approaching the 30th are the backbone of the number gang. But in the hands of Kangba and others, they didn't even persist for two minutes. The bullies who were very arrogant just now have basically lost their mobility. Many people have been picked out and their tendons have been broken. And this is still in a state where they are already quite reserved. If it were on the battlefield, these people would probably have long been the fallen souls of Kangba and others. Even their leader's bald head was lying on the ground. His expression was very painful. For him now, it's almost as painful as breathing. Is this the underworld on the island of Australia? Kangba looked at the beaten child lying on the ground. Some are unbelievable. These people are really too weak. Is that right? It's even weaker than the Yunnan monkey I encountered back then. Is this kind of skill still coming out to infiltrate the underworld? Another man standing next to Kangba spoke up. He was wearing sports shoes brought back by the army. He is still wearing a pair of rubber soled shoes on his feet. Looking at these thugs with great disdain. His name is Lu Deswi and he is also a subordinate of Lin Chaofan on the counterattack battlefield. Kangba was a comrade in arms he had known since he was a new recruit. Also saved by Lin Chaofan. After Lin Chaofan was discharged from the military, he took the initiative to follow him to Xincheng. Can you tell me now, who exactly asked you to come and kill me? Lin Chaofan approached the bald man. Kangba and others followed closely behind. He was still holding a steel knife with blood in his hand. Mainland boy, I'll lose your mother. Lin Bei has burned incense before, you killed me today. I can't say anything either. Bald, with a righteous and resolute demeanor. Oh. I can't tell you're still a tough guy. Lin casually picked up a steel pipe from the ground and easily broke it in front of his bald head. Everyone present was surprised to see it. Is this the power that humans should possess? Chapter 4 Justice is clear, revenge is hard. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Bald-headed, watching Lin Chaofan break the steel pipe with his bare hands. The whole person instantly cooled from the soles of their feet to the heavens. Is this human power? But even so, the bald mouth is still quite tough. Don't scare me with this kind of magic trick. Lin Bei, my boss is the number gang leader from Ao Island, Banya Ju. If you dare to touch me, my boss won't let you go. The bald man bit his teeth and opened his mouth. Move out the broken tooth horse directly to scare away Lin Chaofan. So it seems that I can only do it in a different way. Lin Chaofan's eyes were sharp. He forcefully inserted the broken steel pipe into the bare head's thigh. Ah! The bald head, who was already severely injured, screamed uncontrollably in an instant. Fresh blood flowed out of the steel pipe. At the current blood flow rate, you still have about 15 minutes left. After 15 minutes, you may fall into a coma due to excessive blood loss, followed by shock and death. Lin Chaofan spoke lightly. Behind him, Kangba and others were also coldly watching. This method was invented by Yunnan Monkey. To destroy a person's will through this method. It's just this method. It is useless for soldiers in the Dragon Kingdom. But a bald guy like this. Where would there be such a will? Feeling the gradual loss of blood in my body. Bald finally began to panic. I say, I say. My boss broke his teeth and took money from a woman who offered one million to buy your head. 
I don't know anything about the rest. I'm just here to kill you. Help me call an ambulance, please. Bald with a crying voice. He completely lost his domineering appearance just now. Although he comes from the streets. Accustomed to seeing people being chopped to death. But it was his turn, and that fear eventually subdued him. Do you know the identity of that woman? Lin Chao Fan spoke calmly and calmly. I don't know. I really don't know, it's already at this point. If I knew, wouldn't I tell you? Baldly looking at Lin Chao Fan standing in front of him. I have spoken in a tone that is almost pleading. Blood flowed out bit by bit through the steel pipe on his thigh. A small depression has formed on the ground. Feeling my increasingly weak body. At this point, the psychological state of balding has reached an extreme level of fear. He felt the biggest mistake in his life. I just listened to the words of the broken tooth horse. I came to the mainland to slaughter people for 500,000 yuan, but now I can't even save my life, let alone 500,000 yuan. Thank you for telling me these. Lin Chao Fan crouched in front of the bald man with a smile. Thanks to him. Then I prepared to leave. Wait, help me call an ambulance first. Baldly looking at the departing crowd. A pleading mouth. Bald brother, you were able to sit in today's position and climb up step by step. Don't you understand the principle of not leaving trouble for yourself? You came to kill me for money, and now you are willing to compromise with me, it's just because of fear. The only lesson I have learned on the battlefield is that killing must be done with a knife. Lin Chao Fan said. I took out a box of matches from my own pocket. In front of a bald head. Light a match. Then it was thrown beside the bald head. The flames quickly climbed onto his clothes. Ignite all around. All fell to the ground, still conscious of fighting. Staring in terror at the surroundings shrouded in flames. My face was filled with despair. You few street thugs, wait for me, Lin Bei is waiting for you in hell. Then wait for me well. Lin Chao Fan spoke lightly. Then he turned around and left with Kangba and others. Only the wildfire that started spreading in place remained. And the bad things that bald people do throughout their lives. They will also be baptized in the fire. Let's wait at the port first, there should be a ship to Australia in the evening. Lin Chao Fan spoke lightly. Completely ignoring the soaring flames behind. Okay, Brother Lin. No matter where you go, we will follow you. Kangba and others all showed excitement on their faces. For a long time. The extreme pain caused by severe internal injuries. Always tormenting Lin Chao Fan. Along with his will, he was tormented and depressed. If it weren't for the concern of Lin Mu before. And Kangba and his group of brothers take care of him. I'm afraid he can't bear to be humiliated long ago. Choosing to self-terminate. Now looking at Lin Chao Fan. Not only did the internal injury recover. And it seems that my skills have also improved. They seem to have seen the reconnaissance platoon leader who bravely killed the enemy on the battlefield again. Kangba and others are incredibly happy in their hearts. A few people came all the way to the port. At this point, it is already getting dark. Many illegal boats also began to take action at this time. At this time, the island of Australia has not yet returned. Under the control of Portugal. Many people who cannot survive on the mainland. They will find ways to illegally immigrate to Macau or Hong Kong Island. Some of these people hope to achieve something here. Some people have committed crimes in mainland China and want to illegally immigrate to these two places to evade responsibility. Brothers, are you going to take a boat? A captain of an illegal ferry approached to inquire. There is still a smile on his face. Yes, we're going to Australia. Do you have a spot on your boat? Yes, of course there is. My boat is specifically designed to run to Australia. Just this price, it may be a bit expensive. 
I don't know how many brothers. The boatman laughed and tentatively asked Lin Chaofan and others. Can you just say roughly how much it costs? In theory, there is still a high risk of delivering you to that place, so the price will be slightly higher, at 100 yuan per person. Kangba and others heard about this price. They were all startled. In this era, even big cities like the imperial capital or the magic capital. Many families may not have a monthly expenditure of 100 yuan. The captain of this ship is actually at this price. But judging from the large number of people, I'll suffer a bit at a loss. 80 yuan per person, I can't go any less. The captain of the ship spoke again. Lin Chaofan looked at the captain of the ship. A smile of unknown meaning appeared at the corner of the mouth. Okay, then let's go for 80 yuan per person. Lin Chaofan took out a cloth bag from his arms. There is nearly a thousand yuan in cash inside. These funds were originally intended by the original owner to be used for the mother's hospitalization. Now Lin's mother has passed away. These money naturally have no use. Okay, okay. A few of you are ready to board the ship. We will set sail soon. The boatman looked at the cash in Lin Chaofan's hand. There was a hint of greed in his eyes. Smiled for a moment, then turned around. Led a few people to a dark blue painted electric boat. There are still two strong sailors on the ship. Lin Chaofan noticed a hint of murderous intent in their eyes. Chapter 5 Sudden Transformation, Stealing Ships You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Brothers. Get on board. Let's set off for Australia now. The boatman warmly greeted Lin Chaofan and a few others to board the ship. Lin Chaofan and Kangba exchanged glances with each other. Subsequently, several people boarded the ship one after another. Accompanied by the roar of the engine. The illegal ferry sailed into the sea. Set off towards the brightly lit island of Australia in the distance. Brothers, what are you doing on Australia Island? The boatman looked at Lin Chaofan and a few others. Although the body looks a bit thin and weak, there is no extra flesh on it. They are all very robust. Especially Kangba. Exposed arms. The upper muscles are quite noticeable. My forearms are thick and strong, and my hands are covered in calluses. It looks like a person who often works. A few rural men want to go out and make a good living, which means there are plenty of opportunities in Hong Kong Island and Macau Island. We are close to Macau Island, so we want to go and see it first. Lin Chaofan smiled and spoke up. This ship is quite fast. It didn't take much time. We have already driven a distance of over 10 kilometers. But when they suddenly drove to a distance of about 20 kilometers from the port, the ship suddenly stopped at sea. Captain, what's wrong with this? Lin Chaofan approached to inquire. It's nothing, there's a small malfunction. Let's just tidy it up. The boatman pulled out a cigarette and held it in his mouth without igniting it. Searching for something on the bottom of the ship on my own. Then let's help. Lin Chaofan said he was about to step forward with Kangba. Don't move. The captain suddenly shouted loudly. At this point, he already had a homemade earthen gun in his hand. The black muzzle pointed straight at Lin Chaofan's face. On the hands of those two sailors. Each person also has an extra steel knife in their hand. The moon shines on the sea, and ships anchor at sea. Moonlight falls. The steel knife in the sailor's hand. Emitting a bright silver glow. The greedy face of the boatman was also reflected in the eyes of everyone by the moon. Captain, what are you doing here? Lin Chaofan blinked and didn't seem to panic much. A few pretty guys, we don't want to make things difficult for you either. Give up all the money on you. It's not easy to come out and make a living these days. We're just robbing money and not our lives, taking out all the valuable things on our bodies. I promise you'll go to Australia, 
otherwise you'll have to feed the fish on this sea. Whether you want money or life, you can choose for yourself. I won't force you. Even if you choose to ask for money and I kill you, I won't touch your money. This is the rule. The boatman was smoking. There was a glint of shrewdness and greed in my eyes. Back when Lin Chao Fan paid him the money. He had already started thinking of robbing money. They haven't done this kind of thing for the first time. Many people who illegally cross the border have no identity. It will be counted as a black household. Once discovered by the police, they will be immediately deported. So even if you are robbed of your wealth, you dare not report it to the police after landing. I can only eat this dumbfounded loss like this. The captain of the ship is really skilled at calculation. Forget it, everyone is coming out to make a living. We must be dying, no money. Lin Chao Fan took out a cloth bag from his arms. Step forward. Kangba also took out a celestial pearl from his arms. The two of them approached, and the captain of the ship was not on any guard. In his view, such a narrow place. Even these few people are robust men. Once you take action. It's also impossible to be a match for firearms. Not to mention the two sailors behind me. They all come from a business background of killing people and stealing goods all year round. If these guys have any abnormalities. The steel knives in their hands are not vegetarian either. So the captain of the ship dares to have confidence and fearlessness. Captain, we've agreed this time that we can't change anymore. We'll give you all the money, and you must ensure that we land safely. Lin Chao Fan had a faint smile on his face. I don't care if the money in my hand is about to be stolen. Don't worry, mainland boy, I am a person of integrity. The boatman let out a cold snort. Extend your hand and go get the money from Lin Chaofan's hand. Watching the captain reach out his hand. Lin Chaofan seized the opportunity. He punched the boatman's Adam's apple directly. The captain of the ship lost consciousness at that time. The earthen gun in his hand also landed in Lin Chaofan's hand. He had just noticed something was wrong with the captain of the ship. The two sailors beside him had knife marks on their fingers, indicating that they had been using knives to cut something all year round. And look at the figures and eyes of these two guys. They are obviously not a good kind either. I naturally have a clear idea of what I am chopping. And at the tiger's mouth of this ship owner. There are also faint cocoons and traces of gunpowder burns. This indicates that he has shooting experience. It is very likely that there will be firearms in his hands, and Lin Chao Fan also took this into consideration, so he did not solve them immediately. Seize the ship. Accompanied by Lin Chao Fan's command. Kangba and others instantly erupted into rebellion. Two sailors are self-sufficient, tall and strong. No fear. But how can they be tall and strong? How could it be the opponent of those who truly awaken from slaughter on the battlefield? They didn't even have bald subordinates and persisted for a long time. In less than two minutes, Kangba and others had already been pinned underground. Lin, how will these three people handle it? Kangba asked Lin Chaofan. For such scum. They have no psychological burden at all. Anyway, back then on the battlefield. The more murmuring monkeys were killed. In terms of human nature, it is much worse than these guys. Throw it into the sea. If they are lucky enough to swim to the shore, it can be considered that heaven has mercy on their lives. If they cannot swim to the shore and die in the sea, it may be their lives. Lin Chao Fan spoke lightly. Kangba and others also acted quickly directly threw the captain and two sailors into the sea. The earthen gun in the hands of the boatman. It fell into the hands of Lin Chao Fan. Two steel knives held casually. Also collected by Kangba and others. Looking at the earthen gun in his hand, Lin Chao Fan still felt somewhat disgusted. In his past life, he was a tactical instructor in the special forces. 
From what you wear to the equipment you use. That's all top dot notch. He really doesn't like these black workshops making things, he can only barely call them guns. Brother Lin, come and take a look. Lu Deshui suddenly shouted out. It turned out that he found a space under the deck. This space is very secluded. Most people cannot find it without careful searching. Lu Deshui took out two bags from this space. After opening it, there was actually cash inside, but it was quite scattered, including some gold and silver jewelry. Perhaps it was obtained from robbing others during this period. Brother Lin, this is really an unexpected joy. Kangba looked at two bags of scattered cash, although smugglers usually didn't have much money. But these two big bags look good. It could also cost around tens of thousands of yuan. In the 1980s, in mainland China, households worth tens of thousands of yuan were already super wealthy. Not to mention tens of thousands of yuan. P.S. Brothers, the new book is on its way. Could you please provide some free flowers and review tickets to support it? Chapter 6 The Impatient Broken Toothed Horse You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. After Lu Des, we dug out the cash. Kangba also found a lot of food and fresh water on the ship. It is obvious that this group of people are simply repeat offenders. He often engages in activities of robbing and robbing homes. With these things, we should be able to hold on for a while after we land. Lin Chao Fan was still thinking about it. They just went to Australia like this, it's really difficult to think of home. But I didn't expect their luck to be so good. I just took a boat. I obtained two steel knives and a gun, as well as tens of thousands of cash and plenty of fresh food. It can be said that what he currently needs. Almost everything is ready. After landing, hide this ship, maybe we'll need it again someday. Lin Chao Fan instructed Kangba. Don't worry, Brother Lin. I don't know if the bodies of those thugs have been found. Lu Deshui took out a braised chicken leg from the food and nibbled on it while speaking. Based on time calculations, it should have already been discovered, but whether it's possible to bring it to the table or not will be discussed separately. Ao Island The entrance of the number gang A man of average stature who doesn't stand out is drinking tea here. He has very short hair and looks around 30 years old. Wearing it also feels a bit casual. But if the people following him are seen by the locals of Australia, Kidu will take the initiative to avoid three feet. The people standing behind this man are all the bosses of the number gang in various districts of Australia and some red stick thugs. Any single one brought out is a character that makes people tremble with fear. And at this moment, these people are standing respectfully behind this man. There is only one person who can make them like this. That's the leader of the local number gang in Australia. The toothless foal, known as the Godfather of Australia, by the Portuguese. Big shot, big shot. Something's wrong. A little brother rushed in in a panic. Breathing heavily and speaking up. Which hall are you from? Didn't you see the big shot talking to the bosses? Get out of here now. The speaker is Qian Mingsen, a fierce general under the command of Benjia Ju. As the leader of the AO Island Number Gang, Benjia Ju commands over 100,000 horse cubs and claims to have greater power than the AO governor. The reason why the Broken Teeth Horse was able to dominate this Haojiang River and seize a large number of high dot quality gambling halls within 20 years is not unrelated to the group of strong horses under its command. Qian Mingsen is a young horse from Shengyi Hall who was recruited by Bang Yiju during his journey in the martial arts world. He is skilled in martial arts and has extremely fierce attacks. He once saved Bang Yiju's life. This person always rushes to the forefront in gang conflicts. It also laid the foundation for the Benjia horse to dominate the island of Australia. Mingsen, it's okay. Tell me what happened quickly. The broken tooth foal waved its hand. I don't care. Boss, the people we sent to the deep city have had an accident. 
Our informants in mainland China reported that all the people sent were burned to death. The younger brother stuttered and spoke. The people present include the broken tooth foal. All fell into a deadly silence. Is it clear who did it? The broken tooth foal spoke coldly. My face has darkened. Since he took over the water house and dominated the island, no one dared to touch him. I don't know who did it. Almost all the evidence at the scene has been burned. Little brother is also a bit scared. I remember that group of people went to Duliang Anshi's business. Yes. The informants in mainland China now speculate that the bald guys died at the hands of that kid surnamed Lin. Ha ha ha. Okay. Okay. It's really great. I haven't encountered such a thing in a long time, my toothless foal. The broken tooth foal sneered. What does that kid look like, do you know? The broken tooth foal spoke with a cold voice. Try to suppress your anger as much as possible. It should be possible to find out. Then go investigate. After discovering it, make a photocopy of this photo. Anyone with the number, gang, will have one. As long as they find this guy and bring him to me, whether alive or dead, I will immediately reward you with 500,000 yuan. The broken tooth foal threw the teacup at hand to the ground. The teeth are grinding with a creaking sound. Whose life does he want from the broken tooth foal? It's not yet impossible to retrieve it. And bald is also considered a number gang, one of the better ones among the new generation. I usually contribute a lot when fighting with other gangs. Nowadays, people die inexplicably in the mainland, burning them into a pile of coke. If the leader, the broken-toothed horse, doesn't stand out. So in the future, he may not have any prestige in the martial arts world. Yes. After receiving instructions from the broken tooth horse, little brother. Immediately leave as if granted amnesty. These gang leaders have always been unpredictable. If anger affects oneself later, it will not be good. Ming Sen. Big shot. You ask your subordinates to pay more attention to this matter. If they encounter this mainland guy, they will break his tendons and bring him to me. The broken tooth foal opens its mouth. Lin Chao Fan caused him to lose a very useful playboy. He must fight back for this tone. I understand, big shot. Qian Mingsen also spoke coldly. Accompanied by the command of the toothless foal. Not long ago. The photo of Lin Chaofan wearing a green military uniform was found, and countless copies were engraved and distributed to various riders. Subsequently, the number gang began to riot with countless young horses. Not only did they send people to several cities in Shenzhen, but even on Ao Island, each of them held a photo and searched for people on the street. Even if they met a few who looked like Lin Chaofan, they would first beat them up and bring them to the front of the toothless horse. Sir, your tea. In a manner on the island of Australia. Gambling King He Hongsen is reading today's newspaper. He took a sip of the tea handed over by the butler. Wrinkled, listening to the noisy sound outside the window. In theory, his estate. It is already considered a private territory. Normally, outsiders don't come in. How could it be so noisy today? What happened outside? Why is it so noisy today? Speaking to the master, I heard that the number gang is looking for someone, and the broken tooth horse has offered a reward of 500,000 yuan. As long as you bring the person in front of you, you will immediately pay. The butler explained his observations in detail. Oh. Is he so willing? He home smiled. In his eyes, the toothless horse was just a high dot level thug who couldn't make it to the table. He wouldn't take such people seriously. Just. It seems that Miss Liang is involved behind this matter. Grandpa, do you think we should intervene? The butler consulted the gambling king. After all, Liang Anshi is currently the most favored woman by the gambling king. Intervention. Why do we intervene? That woman has always wanted to be my aunt, 
hasn't she? If she doesn't even have this ability, how can she rise above me? If he can't get rid of himself, it can only prove that he is like other women, and there is no need to worry about how many women he wants. The gambling king took a sip of the tea in his hand. Speak casually. Chapter 7 Arriving at Australia Island You are listening at NovelFull.audio Brother Lin, it should be not far ahead. Kangba looked at the distant lights. Determine the distance based on the size of this light. Hmm. Speaking of it. Lin Chao Fan, a person of two generations. It's really the first time I've set foot on Australia Island. Previously, he was a tactical instructor in the Special Forces. His main task is to maintain stability on the border. Go and deal with those countries that usually harass the border of Longwa. Occasionally, I also go to the peacekeeping battlefield or help the country do things that cannot be seen. And in this lifetime, Lin Chaofan. Since retiring on the battlefield. Not to mention poverty, it's almost enough. Where can I afford to go to places like Australia? I remember when I was a child, I also learned a poem. It seems to be called, Song of Seven Sons. Lu Deshui, responsible for sailing. I touched my chin. The ship is under his control. Shuttle through the sea at an extremely fast speed. Quickly arrived within the scope of Australia Island. There should be Portuguese coast guards patrolling here, be careful to avoid them. Lin Chao Fan looked into the distance. A sea view boat with searchlights on. Remind Lu Deshui. Don't worry, Brother Lin. Lu Deshui slowed down his speed. Reduced engine noise. They walked slowly forward like this. Just go ashore at that place, and after landing, find some vines and other things to disguise yourself. We may need to use this ship again. Okay. The ship quickly docked. Lin Chaofan and others were extremely fast. I found some vine branches in the forest. After completing the disguise and hiding the ship. Got the cash. And the fresh water and food found on the ship. Crossing the jungle. All of them come from reconnaissance backgrounds. The activity of crossing the jungle is simply as easy for them as ever. They quickly crossed the jungle and arrived at the city center. This place is still a bit different from what I thought. Kangba looked at the scene before him. This is in line with his imagination of the island of Australia. There is actually a significant discrepancy. In his imagination. The island of Australia is governed by Portuguese people. It should be a rather bustling scene. Although there are towering buildings in front of me, it is true. But these houses all look very old. This place is so close to the edge, it should be for people who sneak in like us. Although Ao Island is small in size, it has a world-renowned casino and gambling industry, and its wealth has attracted countless local and even foreign gangs to compete for land. The fierce battle between the local gangs in Macau led by the Broken Teeth Horse and the foreign, Water House, gangs is evident. Moreover, it is now the late 1980s. Not long after. The island of Australia will return. At this time, Portugal was no longer as concerned about the governance of this place as before. Plus, gangs are rampant. I naturally don't put too much effort into urban construction. It's normal to be a bit older. Lin, where are we going now? First, exchange the cash we have on hand. It's inconvenient to use mainland currency to operate here, and if someone discovers that we are illegally crossing the border, it may cause some unnecessary trouble. First, find a place where you can exchange currency. Lin Chaofan led a group of brothers. Finally arrived at a casino. Lin, aren't we going to exchange money? What are we doing at the casino? Lu Deshui asked with some confusion. To go to a bank or other legitimate place, you may need to present the corresponding pass. We are all immigrants so try not to cause any trouble now. And our money doesn't come from the right way, 
so we may not dare to exchange it elsewhere. The casino is a place with a wide flow of people, and there are all kinds of people from all walks of life. These people spend money and have all kinds of coins. The casino definitely won't require us to register documents. Lin Chao Fan spoke lightly. And he led his brothers to the casino. It is one of the most famous casinos on the island of Australia. Casino Lisboa The Lisboa Casino is a casino hotel, with the main entrance facing the Governor General's Bridge in Jalapai. The hotel has four casinos and one slot machine, operated and managed by Macau's Gambling Company Limited. There are various gambling methods available in the casino. The most important reason why Lin Chao Fan chose this place is because there are no admission tickets here, and you can enter and exit freely. In this way, their identity will not be questioned. Because of this. But if they don't gamble here, will they be willing to exchange money for us? A man with scars on his face spoke up. It's different from Kangba. His skin leans towards whiteness. It looks very energetic. If it weren't for a scar on the face. The overall temperament of a person will be very gentle. This person's name is Li Zicheng, and he is a northerner. He used to be a soldier under Lin Chaofan's command. The reason why Lin Chaofan was internally injured by the shell. Just to save Li Zicheng, who was still a new recruit at the time. For this company commander who has a life.saving grace. Li Zicheng has always been a staunch follower. You're such a fool. Let's exchange all the money for chips, play two rounds randomly, and then exchange the rest for other coins, won't you? Lu Deshui tapped Li Zicheng's head. Lin Chaofan also smiled and nodded. Through the casino's hands. Their money can also be washed away smoothly. So it's like this. I really didn't expect it. Li Zicheng scratched his head with some embarrassment. Let's go inside. Lin Chaofan led Kangba and others. Entered the casino in Portugal. At the place where money is exchanged. Put a bag of cash in your hand. All were exchanged for chips. He distributed the chips among the crowd. After a hard time coming, let's all go relax. But remember, winning doesn't matter, but if you lose, when you lose one dot fifth of your money, stop immediately. Everyone instructed by Lin Chaofan. From killing bald heads to robbing ships. The nerves of several people are all too tense. It is inevitable that problems may arise if this continues. Anyway, we were supposed to clean up these unjust gains. It's better to let all the brothers under my command relax. Relieve their already tense nerves. Okay brother Lin. Kangba and others naturally understood Lin Chaofan's intention and took the chips. They all went to search for gambling projects that they were interested in to play. Lin Chaofan scrutinized the interior of the Portuguese casino. The true owner of this casino. Actually, it's my so dot called Cheap Dad. Gambling King. I don't know if I reveal my identity. I don't know if anyone will believe it. Lin Chao Fan shook his head and smiled. Probably according to the personality of the gambling king. Even if it's really a biological son. If there is no utilization value. You will also be kicked away. Lin Chao Fan strolled through the casino while thinking. With the exaggerated improvement of his physical functions now. He noticed many small movements on the card table. I can easily discover it myself. Even the order of every card discovered by the dealer. He can also easily remember. This is truly an unexpected joy. In this way. Lin Chao Fan had a bold idea in his heart. He walked up to a table playing at 21 o'clock. Found an empty seat and sat down. Chapter 8 Winning the Panic you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Blackjack, also known as Blackjack, originated in France and has a long history. Nowadays, you can see 21.00 in casinos around the world, which is also an essential classic event in casinos. 
This game is played by 2 to 6 people, using 52 cards other than big and little kings. The player's goal is to make the total number of cards in their hands no more than 21 points and as large as possible. The reason why Lin Chaofan chose 21.00. It is because in today's situation of having super strong memory. Another operation can be performed. That's counting cards. 21.00 is one of the few games in the casino that can be won through calculation and memory. At 21 o'clock, the main way to count cards is to count 10, which means 10, J, Q, K. The more 10 left, the more unfavorable it is for the banker and the more favorable it is for the player. The amount of betting is determined based on the number of remaining 10 cards. But this is quite difficult, so the simple version is the plus or minus method. 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 are all counted as adding points, 7, 8, and 9 are counted as 0 points, 10, J, Q, K, and A are counted as subtracting points. The higher the points, the more favorable it is for the player and the less favorable it is for the banker. At present, casinos usually have 8 cards. The the final say method of calculating cards is to calculate 10. The winning face is determined by adding or subtracting points. There are various detailed algorithms, which can be simply put as 8 decks. At 0 o'clock, the banker has a 0.5% advantage. At 1 o'clock, both sides were almost equal. When the average number of points reaches 2, players already have a 0.5% advantage. Normally, without cheating in casinos, players with a 21-point card count can have a 0.6.1.2% advantage, which means they can win a total bet of 0.6.1.2% of the money. The return rate of 1.2% each time is very frightening. But if the casino uses a snail shuffler, the used cards are inserted into the card box according to a certain algorithm, which makes it impossible to calculate. Frequent card cuts by the dealer will also reduce the advantage of card counting. However, at this time, the snail shuffling machine had not yet been popularized. Lin Chaofan also specifically observed just now. At 9 o'clock p.m. at the casino in Portugal. There was no appearance of snail shuffling machines. In this way, one can calculate cards openly and honestly. The officials and gamblers sitting here. Watching Lin Chaofan sit in front of them so casually. Several mature gamblers glanced at each other. A smile with a hint of mockery appeared on his face. Because at this moment, Lin Chaofan was still wearing old clothes. The colors on top all turned slightly white due to frequent washing. It doesn't seem like a wealthy person. I think this should be a farmer from somewhere. He hasn't seen much of the world before, so he just entered the casino in a daze. A few people thought this way. Lin Chaofan also didn't pay much attention to the attitude of these people. He just stared closely at the dealer's hand that dealt the cards. At this moment, every card issued by the dealer. Memories will form in his mind. And his brain also began to run rapidly. Relying on powerful computing power. And a super strong memory. Lin Chaofan quickly won his first money at the card table. The chips in his hand doubled directly. It seems that this newcomer has good luck. I won so much in the first round, it seems that another family will be destroyed by the gambler next. The Dutch official has seen too many such scenes before. Many people have surprisingly good luck gambling when they first enter the casino. It's basically a gamble and a win. That's also why people become addicted to gambling. This thrilling and thrilling pleasure of getting something for nothing. It will really make people sink into it. Looking at the chips in my hand that have doubled. Lin Chaofan showed a faint smile at the corner of his mouth. It seems that the abacus method is feasible. I'm going to earn some money from that so dot called old man today. Next, Lin Chaofan relied on his exceptional mental ability to count cards. Winning one game after another. The chips in front of him. Also from the beginning. Later on, 
more and more. Even piled up into a small mountain. His behavior also caught the attention of the casino staff. Manager, look at that kid. Is gambling luck too good to be true? In the monitoring room. A paparazzi spoke to the manager of the Portuguese casino. Move the surveillance footage over and see if this kid is cheating. If we make another thousand moves, let someone take him away and ruin his moves. The manager spoke coldly. The Casino Lisboa itself is a home stadium with a black and white background. It is the most taboo for someone to cheat here, once someone catches someone cheating here. If it's light, you'll be beaten up and thrown out. If it is heavy, it is very likely to be disabled, with both hands and feet. From then on, he became a useless person. Manager, he played at 21 o'clock and doesn't seem to have cheated. Mazai will monitor the surveillance cameras around Lin Chaofan. All aimed at Lin Chaofan alone. I want to observe from more perspectives whether he has cheated. But no matter how he finds it. No evidence of Lin Chaofan cheating has been found. And in this process. Lin Chaofan's chips have doubled again. Now the chips in front of him are really piled up like a mountain. At least a few million have been won. Brother Lin, have you won so much? Kangba found Lin Chaofan. I was really startled by the scene in front of me. Colorful chips. Almost covered in front of Lin Chaofan. Lost. Lin Chaofan looked at Kangba and asked with a smile. Hee hee, I played a few dice and all the results were output. According to Lin's instructions, I withdrew about one dot fifth of the time. Kangba awkwardly scratched his head. When I used to relax playing cards in the army. He has never won before. It's okay, the important thing is to have fun. For their loss of money. Lin Chaofan didn't care. Ten bets and nine losses is a normal thing. Lin Gu. Lu Deshui and others have also lost, come and find Lin Chaofan. I was also startled by the scene in front of me. It seems that you will have a daifengshu, salad of assorted fresh vegetables, tonight. Li Zicheng looked at the chips in front of Lin Chaofan. The corner of my mouth is almost on my ear. And Lin Chaofan won so much money. Naturally, it also attracted the attention of the entire casino. Many gamblers come here. I've been gambling for so many years. I have never seen such a spectacular scene before. What will the manager do? If this continues, all the chips in the casino will probably be won by this kid. Ma Zai asked the manager with some difficulty. The manager also had a gloomy expression. Keep up with this momentum. It's possible that Lin Chaofan will win the entire casino's money. This way, it won't work. Take someone to handle him. The manager's face was very gloomy. He suspected that Lin Chaofan had cheated. Although there is no evidence, I always feel that something is wrong. Chapter 9 The Casino You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Inside the Casino in Portugal Lin Chaofan's gambling table has already attracted the attention of everyone present. A mountain of chips piled up in front of him. Many people feel hot-eyed. There are some bold gamblers. Sitting directly opposite him. Start gambling with him. But in the end, it was all in vain. In the face of absolute powerful computing power and overwhelming memory ability. Any means they use. It is meaningless for Lin Chaofan. At this moment, sweat beads as big as beans couldn't stop falling off the forehead of the Dutch official. Even the palms have already sweated a lot. He has been working in the casino for so many years, and this is the first time he has encountered this situation. Ordinary people bet on their luck, even if it's good. Win a few and earn thousands or even tens of thousands of yuan. A better one, win hundreds of thousands in one night. Rare ones can win several million in one night. But the chips piled up in front of Lin Chaofan. Together, it's almost 15 million. 
this is no longer a matter of luck. Can achieve this level. Relying solely on luck is probably not enough. At first, the Dutch official was also skeptical. Did Lin Chaofan cheat in some way? But he has been a Dutch official for so many years, and has never seen any old or new methods. Lin Chaofan always placed his hands on the card table. It's impossible to change cards under his nose. I have to say he didn't cheat. There is no way to explain this scene at the moment. Is it just luck? So this lucky one is already going against the sky. Dutch official, please deal the cards. Lin Chaofan gently said a sentence to the Dutch official. The Dutch official finally came to his senses. He wiped the sweat off his palms with a handkerchief. Preparing to deal cards. Wait a moment. A voice stopped the dealer who was dealing cards. A group of people wearing black suits and black earphones walked over, and they walked straight through the crowd to come in front of Lin Chaofan. Hello, sir. We are the security guard of the casino and we suspect that you may have cheated during the gambling process. Please come with us. A burly man came out. Standing straight in front of Lin Chaofan. There is still a sense of solemnity emanating from him. It seems to be a presence with blood on their hands. The security personnel of the Portuguese casino. Each one cannot be considered a simple character. The gambling king places great importance on the safety of his casino. I am very willing to spend money in this regard. Many security personnel were mercenaries wandering on the battlefield before. Invited by the gambling king to serve as a security guard at a high salary. So there are generally no gamblers who don't have long eyes. Intentionally looking for trouble in the casino. A cheat. I think you're looking for the wrong person, right? My hands were all on the table and there weren't any unnecessary movements, as evidenced by the dealer who dealt the cards and the onlookers present. Why should I be accused of cheating? Lin Chaofan looked at the tall man in front of him. Just a faint opening. There was not even a noticeable expression on his face. I don't care about these things. I just received a notice from you that you are suspected. Please cooperate with me and come with me. Otherwise I don't want the gentleman to lose face in public. And in the monitoring room. The casino manager also looked proudly at Lin Chaofan, who had been warned by the man. Regardless of whether Lin Chaofan appears as a cheat or not. He can't take all this money with him tonight. When the time comes, all I need to do is find a crime to accuse him of. Throw it to the help of the number. Let them throw this person directly to Southeast Asia, to fend for themselves. And these chips he won. It will naturally return to the casino. Just before the return. The casino manager will draw some hard work fees from it as compensation to help the casino preserve its assets. He didn't look like a wealthy person when he saw what Lin Chaofan was wearing. Perhaps just a migrant worker from the mainland. For him, Killing one person is no different from killing a few. Besides, I still have money to take. The man stood in front of Lin Chaofan and looked down at him. The tone was also very cold. There was still a hint of contempt in his eyes. It seems that Lin Chaofan is the dirty wild dog he saw on the roadside. Firstly, I did not cheat. If I cheat, please provide evidence. Secondly, you are not qualified to restrict me. I do not want to go with you. Lin Chaofan saw the man in front of him and clearly wanted to forcibly take him away. Also get up directly from the chair. He doesn't want to cause trouble here. But it doesn't mean he's a cowardly and afraid person. Since that's the case, I won't save you face anymore. The man lifted his hand, which was the size of a normal face, and grabbed it towards Lin Chaofan's collar. A side gambler. There are those who gloat. There are those who are worried and worried. But their common understanding is. If someone like this punches me. I'm afraid I might be killed. The man himself seems to think the same way. He was originally a mercenary who survived on the battlefield. 
countless bloodstains on hands. Lin Chao Fan in front of me. For him, he is just a gambler who has never seen the world before, and he despises such a person the most. Gambling on dogs has no value in being saved. Just when he thought he could directly lift Lin Chao Fan up. But I felt a huge force coming from my wrist. This power is like being entangled by pythons in the primitive jungle, gradually tightening but unable to resist. He looked up. Lin Chao Fan easily grabbed his thumb. Then directly break it in the opposite direction. A crisp sound of fractures. Spread it to everyone's ears. A severe pain. Make the man scream out in an instant. He is one head taller than Lin. Kneeling to the ground in an instant. The pain transmitted from the hands. Make him sweat uncontrollably. He wants to use his other hand to counterattack. But being grabbed by Lin Chaofan's collar, the whole person was thrown out directly. Bumped into a gambling table in the distance. The remaining group of people in black saw this. They all rushed towards Lin Chaofan's direction. Kangba and others rushed out of the crowd upon seeing the situation. Like a swift pack of wolves ambushing prey. Strike in an instant. Directly charge up a few security guards. Resolve on the spot. I'm just here to gamble, not to cause trouble, but if you insist on causing me trouble, I can only accompany you. Lin Chao Fan stepped directly on the man's face. This bunch of trash. The manager of the Portuguese casino in the monitoring room watched as the security guard was knocked down by Lin Chao Fan. A punch hit the table. Useless things, you still need to ask me to personally take action. The casino manager angrily left the surveillance room, hoping to make a profit. The result is that this group of waste has caused such a big commotion. This time, he really got himself involved. P.S. Brothers, come and get some free flowers and reviews. Please. Chapter 10 VIP Lounge, Bet Your Life You are listening at NovelFull.audio At this time, inside the lobby of the casino in Portugal. All the gamblers were attracted to Lin Chao Fan and others. Some of them were shocked by the courage of this group of people. Some people always have some schadenfreude. This is the casino of the gambling king. The gambling king is a big shot who takes both black and white. It is a very unwise choice to cause trouble in his field. After all, there have always been rumors. The broken tooth foal of the number gang. But there is an inexplicable relationship with the gambling king. And now this group of people wearing old clothes. It doesn't seem like a wealthy person either. How dare you make trouble at the gambling king's place? This courage is simply too great. For the onlookers of these gamblers. Lin Chao Fan didn't care. He stepped on the man's head with his feet. There is no expression on the face. But there was a murderous intent in both eyes. A man lying on the ground. Watching Lin Chao Fan react like this. I also realized in my heart that I had kicked an iron plate this time. The man who defeated him. Very likely. I have also seen human blood on the battlefield. Even more brutal than him. This brother is really skilled. As expected, it's a talented person with great courage. I wonder if it's possible to sell me face and let go of our casino security. A man's voice pierced through the crowd. The gamblers were very surprised when they saw the newcomer. Consciously gave up a path. The person who came is the manager of the Portuguese casino. I am the manager of this casino, and our security may have had some misunderstandings with you. I apologize for this. To show my sincerity, I invite you to visit the VIP lounge of this casino. What do you think of all the chips in your hands now being counted as your personal property? The casino manager wore a smile on his face. But this smile fell into Lin Chaofan's eyes. But it is very hypocritical. And there is also a hint of greed and killing intent in the hypocrisy. This person is not kind. 
However, Lin Chao Fan has always been a fearless person. Facing the invitation from the casino manager. He also agreed without hesitation. Okay, since the manager is so sincere, I'll give him face. I happen to take a look at what the VIP room of the most luxurious casino looks like. Lin Chao Fan took his foot off the man's face. Kangba and others behind him also released their own uniform security. Then please do it. The manager made a gesture of invitation. Guide Lin Chao Fan ahead. The VIP lounge is different from a popular casino. They are on the second floor of the casino in Portugal. Each VIP lounge here is a separate private room. It is a place for those truly wealthy and influential people to relax. This is our VIP lounge, please come in. The team leader and manager led them to the golden red door on the pen. There is also a code on the gate. 001, the casino manager pushed open the door. Bringing Lin Chao Fan and others inside. There are already two service personnel wearing suits waiting inside. After Lin Chao Fan and others all entered the private room. Two people in suits suddenly closed the door. Kangba and others instantly turned around and prepared their defensive posture. Be ready to take action at any time. And those two people in suits also took out guns from their own arms. The muzzle was directly facing in the direction of Lin Chao Fan and others. Manager, what does this mean? Lin Chao Fan sneered as he spoke. Although I don't know how the gentleman managed to win so much money in our casino. But it doesn't really matter. When we open a casino, we're not afraid of people winning. It's just that sir is taking action in our casino. The owner behind this casino is the Australian Gambling King. The gentleman even hit our people here, which is the face of the Gambling King. After slapping the Gambling King's face, there must be an explanation. Casino manager, speak up on your own. Sitting in front of the gambling table. Pour yourself a glass of red wine. He looked at Lin Chao Fan with pride. What kind of explanation do you want? Lin Chao Fan spoke coldly. It's easy, you bet with me. If you win, you can take it with you. If you lose, take off all your clothes and get out. From now on, you are not allowed to appear in casinos in Portugal. The casino manager spoke coldly. Is that all? Lin Chao Fan looked at the casino manager in front of him. There was a hint of contempt in the eyes. So what do you want? The casino manager took a sip of the red wine in his own glass. Looking at Lin Chao Fan, who had no fear of himself in front of him. He realized that the man in front of him seemed a bit complicated. Since you have already brought me here, why don't we just play a little bigger? If I lose, I'll give you this life as an explanation to the gambling king. If I win, then similarly, not only will I take my money, but I will also take your life. Lin Chao Fan pulled open the chair in front of him. Sitting fearlessly at the gambling table. Oh. Listen to Lin Chao Fan's conditions. The manager of the casino was also taken aback. He didn't expect Lin Chao Fan to dare to propose such conditions. The contempt for the young man in front of me also increased in my heart. In his opinion, this young man is just a big circle guy who has never seen the world before. After winning a few games, I have already forgotten my surname. I feel invincible in the world. I started learning the same way from movies. Okay, then let's both risk our lives on this game, but if I win, don't cry here. Once you're at the poker table, there's no room for remorse. The casino manager spoke coldly with a smile. The red wine in my hand sways. That crimson color is like blood. Okay, then let's get started. Sure, as the host, I'll give you a chance to choose for yourself whether to continue playing at 9 o'clock p.m. or switch to a different project. The casino manager spoke confidently. This is his venue, and he claims to have taken advantage of it. Although he doesn't know what method Lin Chao Fan used to win so many times. But he can guarantee that it's in this private room. 
Lin Chao Fan is absolute, there is no way to win him a game. Then let's make it 21 o'clock. Okay. Call someone to deal the cards. The security guard in charge of guarding the entrance soon arrived with a Dutch official. After the arrival of the Dutch official, exchanged a glance with the manager. This did not escape Lin Chaofan's eyes. It seems that these two guys are determined to calculate themselves. But do they really have this ability? Lin Chaofan also showed a cold smile at the corner of his mouth. The people behind Kangba also exchanged glances with each other. They clenched their fists tightly, ready to take action at any time. 